Right. There's a PPE shortage at the Chris Honey Baragwanat Hospital in Soweto. Staff at the hospital down tools this week. Among the demands of health workers is to get full PPE for those who work in COVID-19 wards. Acting Gauteng Health MEC Jacob Mamabolo joins us now live. Dr. Mamabolo, for this first question, I just need a yes or no answer. Is there a shortage of PPE across the province? Yes or no? No. All right. So why is there an, uh, a circular that has gone out? We've seen a circular from the HOD and the department saying that the SANDF would go out at 7 this morning for an urgent count or stock taking of PPE. Yes. Let me just correct that uh, the, what led to the spontaneous action by, by staff at um, uh, BARA was essentially a decision that was taken by management uh, to provide PPE in certain sections, in certain quantities, and not others. And when that happened, there was a spontaneous reaction by, by staff. So the circular that has been issued, uh, I directed that that circular be issued. The reason for that is we have done a count, an audit of PPE in our warehouses, and this is part of managing that transition of the transition from the stock levels we had that are related to the challenges we had with procurement of PPE that didn't comply and led to a SIU having to come in. So as part of the transition from that to a new situation, we are conducting stock to check those uh, items that will not be utilized, that are poor quality, we need to take them out of our facilities. But we also have similar stock that is found its way into our facilities. So we also need quick count of what is usable, what is not usable, poor quality and all that, so that we can take it out and completely manage the transition of new stock, fully compliant with quality, with cost, with procurement and all the laws. And in order to do that, you need physical count of every item. And um, our officials, actually CEOs, have indicated that uh, they do not have enough personnel to now go remove uh, boxes, count and do everything and check. And then uh, we, we have accepted that point. And that's why we have asked the Defence Force, which has been part of the support since we started. They're in our facilities. They are there and they've got capacity 24 hours. We have asked them to do verification, actual cost, so that those items that will not be used definitely because they are of poor quality, they must be recalled and they must be, we will then make a decision on how do we dispose them of. So this is part of cleaning and moving away and transiting out mm. of the situation we have had before into a completely new environment in which we will have proper account of quality cost and just quantities available mm. at all times. So... It is really a clean-up exercise, if I were to call it okay. that. All right, MEC, forgive me, for, forgive me for interjecting. So basically, um, this stock taking, according to the circular, was expected to start at 7 this morning. In the meantime, while you're, taking, while you're doing stock taking at your warehouses, there are um, health workers in the and, front line who facilities. need the PPE and facilities. All right, so um, how long is this going to take to be able to take off all the fake ones that have been bought? Well, uh, when I spoke to the general of the Defence Force uh, yesterday, he did indicate that um, if they were to get this circular early this morning, uh, they, will, they should be able to take two days uh, to clear all our hospitals. And uh, we are already done with the warehouses. So it's just now going into the hospitals. And you will know the Defence Force work on a strict mandate. They need something clear so that whenever they go into these facilities, they've got a clear mandate. So it has to do with control, uh, uh, um, um, the control culture in command and control in the defense force. So to that extent, two days, then we will be able to know we have now completed the period of transiting from the initial situation into the new one, and we will be stable. Mm. Now, MEC, the World Health Organization uh, was quoted actually not so long ago saying that, um, you know, corrupt activities when it comes to PPE, they actually fi find a tantamount to murder. Would you agree? WHO is uh, the World and Global Authority on all matters pertaining to health and in this particular case to PPE. 
and uh, therefore any crime, theft or stealing from uh, PPE and of course from our people, that amounts and is tantamount to exactly what WAOH is saying. And I think um, uh, we must agree with the uh, uh, World Health Organization on that matter. They are right. It's a matter of principle. And I think that statement is correct. Mm. Now, MEC, um, the the uh, uh, Nahau, the union Nahau, is actually meeting today to uh, map uh, a way forward after uh, you know it voiced its uh, concerns to government, and they are uh, basically threatening MEC to go uh, on a full-blown strike. This is going to have detrimental effects on our fight against COVID-19. But do you blame them? Uh, looking at you know the allegations against government. Well, let me just narrow it quickly to our province. Myself and uh, Premier David Makura last week when uh, we had a protest, a march, we went to receive memorandum. And uh, the Premier made it very clear, and that's the pro provincial position, that those matters that fall within the purview of the province, we will deal with them and deal with them properly. Uh, just tomorrow, I mean on Monday, we will be formally giving Nehau our response. In this province of Gauteng and... I mean, everybody can confirm that that has been following uh, matters in this province. We are very much proud and very much satisfied with the high levels of cooperation we have with organized labor. Just this today afternoon, this Saturday at 2 o'clock, I will be chairing a meeting in which all recognized state unions sit with CEOs of hospitals and our PPE champions. We do that every Saturday, 2 o'clock without fail. We discuss PPE. We discuss compliance levels, and uh, today organized labor is actually presenting to us if in their view there are facilities and hospitals that are non-compliant so that we attend to them. On our record, our own record indicate 100% compliant with the directive issued by national government on OHS, occupational health and safety, and uh, also PPE. But because these are daily consumables, and these are things that are used every hour, every second, and the consumption rate is very high. So you will have challenges, but in terms of running an efficient, effective, stable uh, operation with regard to respect to PPE, today we are going to hear from organized labor. Are there challenges according to them? Remember in our province also, every day, every facility, they hold daily PPE meetings to check stock levels, consumption rate, and level of shortages. So to that extent, I can say to you, whilst these are national strikes, while these are national events, but in our province, we have got maximum compliance. We have got dialogue and conversations. We have set up structures. I personally chair those structures. I go to facilities where there's no PPE. Last week, I was in uh, South Rand Hospital. So to that extent, I can say to you, Nehau is within its constitutional right to engage in a strike to highlight the issues that it is raising and um, we can only commit to daily improvement we must also uh, put it forward that the transition that we are managing sometimes can have challenges but in the overall the picture we have in the provinces we're running a stable operation with respect to ppe the strike of workers is, is their right to strike mm. Well, thank you very much. That is the acting MEC of Health in Gauteng, Dr. Jacob Mamabolo.